get some uh, Triple H going. He goes houses and horrors. So if you actually go onto archive.org, there's a couple different versions of this game uploaded. And the later ones actually do seem to fix things a bit. So as you saw from the title screen, 1.6 shareware. I don't know if any of them add any new tech, but this version seems pretty reasonable. Obviously it lets you do a lot. Let's, uh, let's get that pumpkin. See? Two points. Smash it. Get key. Smash key. So... First and foremost... Just because we can. We'll come up to the lab. It is possible without diagonal movement to actually wiggle your way back here, but you can kind of yeah. There we go. You can kind of see too, like when you bump into a wall diagonally, it doesn't seem to resolve it quite right, which is. Almost certainly why you can get out of bounds. Not close enough, okay. Sure. Oh. Gotta get out. Later, nerd. So, we grabbed the oil can through a door, so let's, uh... Do the same thing with the mask, because why not? That obviously would be part of the speed run if you needed the mask. But it turns out you don't. Yeah, you can see the very tiny bunk sprite. And you can also see that like it takes away points and gives them back as you drop and take items. Put on the mask. Let's do this. Let's get a chop. Butler. Please. Yes. Later, everybody. Sorry, talking to oneself is the first sign of madness. Woo, butler. Did a little moonwalk there. Having a good time. Oh, there's our shop. Take off mask. You don't have it on. I know, it's hard to tell. Actually, does it get oil can without the space work? Nope, you just need a space there. But since that doesn't have like a visible sprite, if you try to drop an oil can, it's just like, no, you'll need that. Even though you can drop plenty of other stuff you need. Get chop. Where? No, let's do it this way. Oh, 
almost forgot. Sixty-seven points. But when you throw it rather than drop it, you don't lose points. So, we can get as many points as we want here. But the real trick is in our first little regular playthrough of the game, after we went downstairs, it's like, you get rid of the mask, because who needs it? And we're going to find out why, because we're going to take the mask with us, actually. Well, that bolts. Undo that bolts. Drop mask. Let's make a safety save. Open door. Or open trap door. Get mask. Now we still have the mask. We're not supposed to have the mask. I probably should have grabbed the whistle, because now I do have to do the bat dodge. So here we are, in the basement, with our cool mask. Got him. Yeah. Because now we're here as Tiny Hugo, just like in the lab, which also refuses to let you have the mask. Wear mask. You are already wearing it, you cross-eyed baboon! That's right, there's no mini mask. So now the game is a little confused. No, that was just me dodging. All that was still legit. We really should have been killed by the vats and the mummy, but we didn't. But uh, we are wearing the mask even though it doesn't look like it. So what if we take it off? We'll take off the mask. You go big! This tiny old man. Gosh, tiny man. I think it is easier to actually get out of bounds like this when you're big, but obviously that involves getting the mask and doing all that stuff. It, it adds too much to be feasible. You just kind of go for a walk. Uh, the screen doesn't like it when you do that. Where am I? Kind of lost myself, sorry. I was not... There I am. Whoop. There I go. Cool Hugo trails. Oh man. Ugh. Tiny Hugo. Let's clear up this horrible screen, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah, and um also, since we were tiny when we restored our save. Baby Hugo. It just toggles states. Uh, am I wearing the mask? Wear mask. Okay. Big Hugo. Oh, I'm actually out of bounds here now. Take that, parser!
And if you go diagonal, you can get back up here pretty easy. Oh, that's a big dog. Oh, well. Yeah, now getting in and out of bounds is just a thing. Now we can finally walk on the grass. You can kind of see how the game handles overlaying and underlaying sprites. It's just... That's a good question. Let's uh, make a little courtesy save. Like, you can even see base mask. Like, that's a save for that scenario. Tiny Hugo. And finally climb the tree. Kind of. Because we do actually collide with the path there. We gotta... Look, you can see more of the board. Oh, well. Hugo. And your, uh, your actual position and where you're drawn kind of desync a little when you do, like, screen wrapping stuff. Oh, they just get drawn over with the HUD. Um, I did find out pretty recently that all the graphics, like, these... These graphics, at least, they're just uh, PCX files that have been renamed. You can see, so the parser also covers up a little bit more of the grass. It's just... They're just... Just plain old images. You can see the path ends. Alright, let's uh, try exploring the rest of the house like this. If I can... Hmm. Well, when in doubt, am I wearing the mask? It is hard to tell, actually. Put on mask. That just made things worse. There we go. That's That looks to be inbounds. No mask. Um... Hmm. Okay, well, doesn't want to let me leave the board. That's good enough. Hello, on this man's backyard. Well. Pardon me. Excuse me. Dog. Okay. Where? Mask. There we go. Put on mask. Take off. Should be able to fit here now. It's, yeah, the hitboxes in this game are really something else. I think you have two. I really do think that it's head and, like, feet. Because if, when you get attacked by the bats, it seems like those are the spots that actually matter. All right, well, let's uh, let's see what we can do in the lab. Oh, we lose our mask. That's right. Oh, but we are still tiny. Step in the box. Okay. Is this sufficient? It is. Okay, Igor, press the blue button. Okay, and now I am wearing my mask in big. 
It's just a lot of fun. I can I leave or is it gonna give me? Yeah, in your current state, you can't reach the door handle. Oh no. Uh, wear mask. Is it on or off? I can never remember. I don't have it. Yeah, this is just Hugo. Igor. Press. That's all you need. And I believe these are going to be normal because, well, quote, normal. Igor, press. Oh, that's a good question. If you try to give Igor a coin. I don't have the coin right now. No, I have to go through. Okay, back to normal. Now you can really easily get the bung if you need it. You go. There we go. Get mask. Wear mask. I've arrived. I'm wearing the mask, actually, according to the game right now, so I should. Yeah, this guy has no problems with me. All right, let's, uh, actually, yeah, let's get the coin. I don't think it's going to do anything. I'm sure they're just, like, reused sprite and not, like, reused objects. But let's get the whistle just to make this easier. I don't know if I have the chop, but I don't need the chop. Oh, yes, I do need the chop. The dog is apparently right there now. Tragic. Do I have... Okay, I have chop. Wish me luck. Well, Toggy gets a second snack. That's just, uh... Oh, here we go, base mask. That should be... Yeah, okay. So I am wearing the mask. Do I have the whistle in this safe? Yeah, good, great. This the easy way. Uh, yes, you can go outside. That's a good question. Let's... Oh, no, if you throw the chop on a different board, it erases it from your inventory permanently for some reason. So, hope I don't need the chop. Uh, wait, no, we wanted to go back up. Oop. You go. Exits the tomb. I'll make him hold hands. Oh, he got me. Double gotchard. 
that's what I mean by like I definitely think Hugo has two hitboxes, one for the head and one for not. Did I say what, what is this current state? I have a chop. I'm wearing the mask, that's good enough. Did I get the whistle here? Got the whistle. Oh that's right, the dog is like in a bad spot for this. What if we do it this way? Maybe Tiny Hugo can live long enough. Whoop. What? Guess not. Alright, alright. Basement mask. We gotta do this legit. Get the gold. Gold. Save on Twitch. Blow that whistle. I think it does let you actually eat it. Yes, you feel somewhat invigorated. And then, under normal circumstances, break your game. Mmm. Good enough. Okay. Cool. Cool game. Tiny Hugo eats the chaff. He will be even more invigorated. Nothing happens. That's a letdown. Ooh, find out the back and gotcha. No, but we can get into some video memory of inside the house, it looks like. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if once you go out of bounds, if you're just like walking through RAM. This is fun. Alright, let me. Okay, that's getting nasty. I know, we want a cool game. I don't have high hopes for Igor doing anything. But you never know. Oh no, my mask fell off. Give gold to Refused. Okay, yeah, that's just a generic message. That I was like, that's probably there for if you try to give it to the, the dude with the trivia. I mean, I'm sure you can, like edit your save and have the mask in here and see what happens. 
hold to guard. Mm, tragically, no. Please, I just want to exit the room. Thank you. Mm. It's the bathroom. Oh, that's also like an instant warp, too. You don't actually have to walk in there. You go, everybody. My cool magic trick. Wanna hang out on the bed. All right. Anything, anything else we can think of? Also, this board you can get out of bounds on. I forget where exactly. The secret passage is like a single pixel, so it's not actually a time saver to get out of bounds. I've never managed to hit it from the other side. Mostly just mash diagonal keys until something happens. What else we got? I think that's about yeah. It's almost certainly a single pixel, because I mean if this here is like a one pixel gap, like I can't move up or down where I'm currently standing. I can just make Hugo's head get chopped off. Can I talk to Penelope actually? She's here. Oh, she's been gagged. She's having a rough day. What else? What else? E, knife, mask, oil, bomb. Oh, actually. Let's go back to the lake. Do I have everything? Knife bunk, perfect. Why is it not letting me? Get in the boat. Log hole. Log hole with bunk. There we go. Yeah, spaces. Ah, okay. The boat is still the boat. Mm, it has been destroyed. Just because this game does get a bit weird. Mask run. What? 
They won't let me smash the pumpkin now. Whoa, this game is very confused, actually. Yeah, it just does not recognize these objects. Well, it recognizes the door. Yeah, you gotta be careful when you save, apparently. Don't have it. Uh, I saved while I was in the boat, and then I loaded a different save, because that makes things... That's how you, like, get screwy with how the mask is displayed and stuff, so... I, I'm here, I can't interact with the pumpkin. I'm just getting, like, generic messages, like it doesn't see the object. Um... Oh, that's actually a good idea. Uh, exit boat... Keep forgetting what it is. Leave boat. Talk to old man. It, it, like, it recognizes that we're in the house, the outside room here, because this generic look message is still this. It recognizes the moon. It doesn't recognize the objects. I'll try this. If we do the trivia, then we should be able to leave the boat. Talk to old, good enough. Bilbo. Narnia. Sure. See. Man. Bullets. Yes, but not actually. Okay. So now. Ah, uh, shoot. He won't let me cancel. Well, that was the new game save. That's easy enough to recover. Well, now I can't go outside. I mean, I can. I can walk outside. Well, let's see what happens. I don't know. Let's, uh... What one's Twitch right now? That's basement, right? No, that's here. Oh, yeah, like... Okay, no, I thought the mummy was just not chasing me at all. Ego grows big and dies. Alright. I think we get the idea. This is kind of a, a glitchy game when you start doing things it doesn't want you to do. It's a lot of fun like that. I'm gonna give it a couple more goes, see if we can take down that record a little bit more. And then I think we'll call it a day. It is, it's been like two hours now, it seems. So, first though, I have to recreate my new game save. Right, let me make sure. 